Welcome to Multiple Cities Gurukul, where we are trying to resurrect India's ancient, glorious Gurukul system using the advances in information technology, computers, internet, interactive television, and so on and so forth. Today we have taken a subject, very important subject is agriculture. Not just agriculture, but sustainable agriculture. And we have with us the great master, the great guru with us, Sri Subhash Rao Parekar. Subhash Rao Parekar is well known as Krishi Rishi. India's Sanskriti or civilization is known as Krishi and Rishi Sanskriti, the knowledge based civilization and agricultural civilization. So today we are the great master. Sir, we welcome you today for this uh, a dialogue. It is on this very important subject. What I see on you know, this year of sustainable agriculture, the whole world is talking about sustainability for the first time. After several centuries, after which is right is the last century in which we have seen great exploitation <coughs> of the, I think, the natural resources. So we are seeing the movement of sustainability. The nations are talk, talking about sustainability, sustainable economies, sustainable everything. Development. Sustainable development. That is the key issue before us. Today we are going to focus on sustainable agriculture, and you are which you are you are the proponent of zero budget. You call spiritual, you call natural agriculture, zero budget, Z B N F, natural farming. So I think we are very we want to learn about this zero budget natural farming, which you are trying to propagate across India and also maybe outside outside India. So please tell us your journey into agriculture first, because we would like to know and. and uh, as a as a disciple or as a learner, I would like to know that how did you enter into agriculture? Uh, I am basically a farmer, belonging to farmer family, and after my uh, university graduation, uh, Vinoba Bhave told me that uh, you have to start agriculture, not go to, uh, don't go to service sector, and uh, do something for the society which has not done anybody. So then uh, I have decided to uh, start my farming again and uh, I started my farming because I have, I have studied uh, chemical farming, green revolution. So I started green revolution uh, technology in my farm. But uh, after uh, since 1973 to 1985, I got best result by green revolution. But after 85, the production was started to decline. And then I went to Vice Chancellor, Dr. William Ale. He was my principal at mm -hmm. that time, principal, I mean college. And I asked, uh, sir, why the production is going to decline? I am not uh, committing any mistake. I am following totally philosophy and technology of green revolution. So also the production is uh, reducing. He smiled and said, uh, increase your inputs. That means you increase the quantity of the fertilizer and new generation of the mm, hybrid seeds and new generation of the insecticide. I thought that there is no answer with the agriculture here. Where to find out what is the alternative? Then I started my research and development work in my farm to find out the alternative technology, and that is zero budget spiritual farming or zero budget natural farming. 